real quick point of order, um, an official point of order since I can't technically do it, is uh, this is the second time, Carrie, you've said that the board has not officially accepted Robert Rules of Orders, and it actually says right in the board member administrative manual that they have, and I gave a copy of it to Mr. Watkins, so I think you should look into that. I said that it was accepted as a guideline. <clears throat> it's not what it says in the, in the thing. Uh, I want to go over three cases of how HQUIU uh, oversees pub and the overuse of public reprimands. A patient went to see Dr. Michael Levy here in San Diego in March of 2014 as she was experiencing some tunnel vision. Less than a month later, she was dead. The medical board accusation says the doctor committed gross negligence in his care and treatment of the patient, which included a failure to perform a definitive procedure to control the patient's intracranial pressure. He ordered a lumbar puncture and removed a large volume of spinal fluid. Only after further clinical decline did, she order an, did he order an external ventricular drain. This patient died, and the, pa and the board gave the doctor a public reprimand. Now let's review the definition. Related to health quality mm -hmm. investigation. Yeah, because they investigated it. these. The public reprimand. Business and Professions Code 2233 states use of public reprimand shall be limited to minor violations and shall be issued under guidelines established by regulations of the board. Now would you all say you're in agreement that the death of a patient is a minor violation? You must be because you can, we can easily pull up a dozen or more cases just like these very quickly where you've done the same thing. Here's another one. Dr. Robert DeStefano of Los Angeles was given a public reprimand for not wearing gloves during a physical examination and for not having a chaperone present. Now, according to my research, it's not illegal to not wear gloves and it's not illegal to not have a chaperone present. He didn't even kill this patient, but he was given the same discipline as the previous case. And finally, the case of Dr. Ro Dale Robert Stimple of Northern California. He's a repeat offender having served five years probation in 1999 when he was charged with gross negligence, incompetence, and repeated acts of negligence in the care and treatment of 10 cardiac patients. Then in 2018, another accusation was filed against him, followed by two amended accusations that included 11 causes for dif discipline. In 1994, a patient died. The patient was late arriving to the ER, on inappropriate placed stints, lacked training and privileges at the hospital, and failed to obtain a surgical consultation and more. Three months later, another patient died due to his lack of training and inappropriately placed stints. One month later, another patient died when he attempted to, to placement of a pacemaker without adequate medical indication and in the face of problems and complications that required the procedure to be halted. Three patients died due to this doctor's incompetence. Here's his file on our website. Guess what reprimand he got? A public reprimand by this board. This is his file. What's going on with the public reprimands? Patients are dying, and you're giving them public reprimands. What in the world, board? How is that patient safety? Unbelievable. Thank and you. And look into Carrie's. She's not always right. I have voluminous information that proves it. <laughs>